a bit desperate. My legs are tired from walking everywhere. I'm getting impatient from walking everywhere. I'm going to do something very, very cheaty. Uh, it, this is bad. <laughs> I should probably not be doing this, but I've got a stack of uh, like 86 eggs here. <laughs> okay. These are Star's chests. He has in here an Elytra. I'm going to borrow it. I'm going to do something very, very cheaty with it. <laughs> uh, I just have to. What do I have to do? I'll get a few more of these to make it a bit easier. <laughs> yeah, this is very, very, very cheaty. But just bear with me. I now have, I'll, I'll put this back where I found it, I now have 14 Elytra. <laughs> uh, okay, I've, I, I must not abuse this glitch because there are lots of things I could duplicate. It's very glitchy. There's just been a, a new update that fixes this version, but we haven't updated the server yet. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's bad, but in my defense, I want to be able to fly. <laughs> um, I want to be able to fly. We can't go to the end yet, really, because we haven't done the dragon fight and people want to do the dragon fight, so it's either that or I could do the cheaty thing that Star's been doing to get these in the first place, just bridge out. But we don't want to explore too much of the end until everyone can do it. But I want to be able to fly. Um, I've contacted Star about buying my own. Um, so he may be providing me with one at some point in the future. Basically, I'm just going to use these, and possibly only one of them, until I can get a legitimately attain obtained one, and then I will destroy it. And I will probably rename these something like Cheaty Wings, just to remind myself that these are indeed not legit. And I will destroy them. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. I will destroy them. I will try not to reduce them. <laughs> I'm like the dragon. I could quit any time. I'm just going to destroy it. I'm just doing it a little bit or something. Um, offering lame excuses. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, uh, yes. Yes, again. <laughs> this is cheating. Yes, I, I know that. And I know that if I abuse... If people abuse this glitch, then it will be stupid and anarchy will result. So I'm not going to... There are other duplication things, glitches that seem more more reasonable to, to, to abuse, like the sand duplicating and stuff, which I will probably be doing. Well, I, I know I want to duplicate dragon eggs at some point in the future after we do the dragon fight, using the you know normal dragon egg duper with the end portals, just because well heck dragon themed base you kind of need dragon eggs, and then that seems a more legitimate glitch to duplicate items than just spamming like wood out and getting things. This doesn't really seem fair. Doing crazy me well, it doesn't actually have to be crazy mechanisms with end portals. You can do it pretty simply. Somehow that seems fair, and this doesn't. So, um, yes, uh, yes. These are my cheaty wings. I will use some. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. E enough of that. It really is beautiful beautiful to be able to fly around here now. And it makes it so much easier when I need to go to my villages. Like, going to Mount Boreo was just like, only just a couple seconds that I'm over there instead of that long trek all the way around the back and climbing up the ladder and down to Acus here and back over and back to here. It's just wonderful. It's wonderful to actually start to be using this base properly. So, hopefully I can actually acquire some legitimately attained wings soon so that I can do that with a slightly less guilty conscience. But this is really beautiful. Um, Alright, next thing I want to work on is another building related thing, because I've got my beacon, which at the moment just comes out over here. But I want to kind of clear this area around and build another 
cool statue of a dragon in there. And I was thinking kind of like, think of a fountain where you've got a pool of water. There might not actually be any water flowing out of it. Possibly I could do some of those particle plumes that Azuma's been showing off with his splash potions. Or the, the tipped arrows is what you need, which we can't exactly do until we can go, you know, fight the dragon. Well, I guess I could go to the end, grab, use the dragon's breath, which is what you need. Get some dragon's breath, put it in an ender chest, and then die without actually killing the dragon. And I wouldn't actually have to explore any of the ends, so I could do that. But yeah. Anyway, I was thinking like kind of like that little fountain pond with a statue in the middle of it of a dragon. And I think probably I gotta build it more out of stone materials. Like just plain cobble and stone bricks, probably, so it looks like it's more just chiseled out of stone and not like with a nice painted finish or whatever. The other ones, a lot of them will be. So I kind of like that just stone statue vibe. Um, and it'll be kind of rearing back with its mouth open and this beacon beam will be shooting out of it. But I'm going to go over into my creative test world to design that so that I can figure that out because that's the best way. But this time I'm going to bring you all along so you can watch the design process. This is the block palette we're going to use. So I've got cobblestone for like the main body and then stone bricks for the underside. I like that it's got the wider, I guess, because of the bricks and also a slightly lighter colour, which still works but it still has that carbon out of stone look. And for the wings, I'm going smooth stone for the membranes and then uh, cobble, probably just, yeah, cobble for the, the bones and stuff. Normally I use the nether rig for the bones bits because it's a bit darker, but because I'm going for the stone look, I can't really do that, but just to put a bit of the texture here. So let's start up here. And this is going to be a little bit tricky because we've got to build the head facing upwards. So like, that's a pretty good, nice head facing forwards and stuff like that. Although, I also need to allow space for the beacon to go through, so that's tricky as well. Um, so we've got to figure out how to build a head facing upwards. And of course, stairs, I mean, if you're going in a, that sort of orientation, then it doesn't really matter, but you can't put it sideways. So that's going to make some things a little bit more difficult. So let's just see what we can do. Let's just extend this up a bit. I think it should be more than enough height. But, so, if I were going to go... And of course you can't put slats horizontally either. The mouth needs to be open. I don't know if I want to have like teeth, like the fangs, or if he's not going to be big enough for that. Uh, do something like that. I'm just going to play around a little bit off camera and I want to show you I'm going to figure out the head design. I'm happy with. It's actually amazing just how much the lack of being able to put slats in vertically, at least, makes to this. Makes it so much harder to find the shape that looks good in some ways. Um, and also the stairs not going sideways. Um, but the last I found a shape I'm pretty happy with, I think. Um, I guess I didn't, what I didn't think about is doing vertical slabs, like I could have possibly for the nose shaping there. Um, actually, let's just test that out. What if I do that and get a cobble slab? That looks slightly better around it. I don't actually think so. Maybe. Oh, uh, a little experiment. But anyway, um, it was a lot tricky, but I found something that I am pretty happy with. I like the way it's turned out. All that. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Anyway, so now we've kind of got this. We kind of need to figure out what shape this guy's going to be and about how big. So the, generally, the next step is. I'm going to use some temporary blocks to kind of build like the spine or the shape. So it's kind of reared up, his head's pointing upwards. So I'm thinking maybe he'll be like punched up. I also don't know about size, because I don't want this to be too stupidly huge. Like if we look at his head's maybe a similar size, possibly a little bit chunkier than this guy over here. So he might end up being something this size if I build it more realistic proportions. But that guy there also has the same size head as the one which is our portal, and he's a bit smaller because he's kind of got this fatter and chubbier vibe about him. So I might go a bit more on that side, just so that this thing isn't too stupid or huge, but I'll see. So Stand back, kind of make your eyes go all blurry so you kind of don't focus on the individual blocks and actually just see the general shape. Kind of imagine the rest. So 
Alright, let's actually build some, just some little sticky out bits just to show you where the shoulders would attach. They need to be fairly bulky. And then the hips over here. I reckon that'll do it. So now we actually need to figure out what the actual blocks we'll use to kind of bolt that up, obviously. So it's just like the spine, the baseline, and it's maybe subject to change as reality sets in. Um, what do we do next? Uh, think about how wide the shoulders are going to be, so they're probably going to come out to... Let's use a different type of block for these. Uh, just like, I don't know why this is going green. It's just kind of green thing. Maybe let's actually take these out and then go like this. And the shoulders go that way. That way. Ooh, I like that. So now we're just kind of figuring out again, just the skeleton, like the inner shape of the, the arms or the four legs. Maybe something like that. No, that's just kind of stretched out a bit too much. They need to be more curled back. Something like that. Looks alright, and maybe a slightly different position for the other side. But we'll just build it out the same for now. Uh, right. So something like that. Again, we're just getting the general overall impression of what the actual shape is. And then later, we'll add in all the actual important bits. Uh, this will do. Alright, so for the hips, they kind of stick out to here. And again, he's kind of squatting on his haunches, I think. Uh, something like that. Looks like just a big S, really. So something like that, generally, is about the shape we're going for. Maybe I'll make these splay outwards a little bit. I think would look good. And the knees themselves could come out as well. I guess that's kind of what we did with Portal Guy over there. Like he's got these knees that stick out diagonally. I think I like that. Something roughly like that. Again, this is just the kind of basic framework, and we'll adjust it as it, we go along, obviously. Um, and the tail, if that's where the feet are going, the tail's going to need to sweep up more soon. Maybe something about like that. Looks alright. Alright. And should we plan out the wings yet, or just start making the body? Let's just start making the body as it goes. Okay. So, from here we're going to continue with these lovely stone bricks, maybe like that. And the actual position of his actual chest, because that's where like the spine kind of spot is. This is going to be more like out here. I don't quite like how this is all just one big diagonal. But it does maybe some seem to fit better. And it doesn't actually look bad. Like, in theory, in my head, it sounds bad. Like, oh, it's just one big diagonal. You can't do that. But when you actually look at it, it doesn't look bad. So, bearing in mind, if, assuming as it looks like this is going to be the ground level of the platform that he's sitting on, we need to block off the beacon. So, it would have to be like that, pretty much. so that you can't see it, otherwise it kind of looks weird, like he's got a giant beam of light shoved up his bum. Uh, maybe just nudge this one up. It's all about nudging things one way and then nudging them back again. <laughs> I almost feel like, I know I just said a while ago that this actually looked good, even though it was just diagonal. But now I'm looking at it again, and now it doesn't anymore. So, you nudge everything, say it looks good, and you nudge it back, say it looks better. Nudge it back again, say it looks better. Kind of looks like he's a bit skinny around the abs, though. 
I don't know. That'll do for starters, though. For, for the, the tummy line, I guess. Let's try and... Ooh, now. This is a problem I didn't foresee. I'm like an idiot. We just said the beacon beam kind of needs to go through him, but this is where his chest is. So that's kind of like, that's where his back would be. Oh, great. Got him looking all beautiful. Like, maybe if we just shove this all back and have his... Oh, great. Why did I not think about that? I remember, you do have wings in there somewhere, so maybe they could actually, depending on the angle they come out at, they could possibly block up some of this. Um, and also, just, you might have back spikes to stick out further, but, like, could, so it might not look so bad in certain situations. Like, if he had, if he had, like, a dorsal fin or something, we could effectively make where his actual back goes there, and then the fin ridge kind of sticking up. Kind of like, kind of like, I've just got a build. Somewhat unintentional. And, but this is going to look a bit stupid, I think, if I just repeat it all the time, because he's just going to turn his back into a straight line. Like we can't do that all the way. It kind of needs to actually come. Oh, you know what would look nice? These. It's like back spike things. Hmm. <clears throat> kind of do like the way I've got that curve working out there. But can't really have a beam shoving out his backside and up through his skull. Kind of just being stabbed. Like, if we have that, let's say, forget about this. Let's say this was his back. We could have this as like a back knee. You can kind of half see the beam through there. Which is annoying, actually. Very annoying. <laughs> but, he almost kind of does block it off, so we could possibly get away with that. I don't like that you can kind of half see it there and it's all flickery. I'm not sure how I feel about this bump here either. Maybe we could actually just smooth this out more like that. bit more shape in there. Oh, it would be nice, a vertical slab. Ah, ah, ah. But as we've established like 30 times so far, we will have to do without that luxury because they don't exist. Like the shape of that I don't mind. I don't like how you can kind of see the beam flickering through it. But the actual shape with that bit there I don't mind so much, I don't think. Kind of hard to see though, the beacon is a bit distracting. What happens if we block it off temporarily? Yeah, that shape is fine. So I might just get away with that. Alright. Now we need to fill up the... How's this going to go? We've kind of stuck those things there. Do we want some stairs here? Or maybe like this. Get some actual shaping happening along here. Also, how wide does this stone brick section want to be. Probably wants to come out to three blocks wide in the centre at least. Alright, alright. I'm not hating this. It's come along pretty nicely. I feel his neck feels just a bit too fat around here, but much we can do about that because I guess we were limited by facts. Unless we did that. What if we that's it. Well that's just gonna make it look fatter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Maybe? Maybe just maybe. Alright, 
let's build one of these four legs. Um, no, that's just wrong. I think I did have it right before. Something like this. You know what? Hey, wait! This is a spot we can have slabs. Getting so used to not being able to have slabs in the orientation I want them, I forget that this is an orientation I can put them. it to the other side. Maybe we can have the other one in a slightly different pose. So maybe one's more raised up, just to make it look more interesting. What is it? Stair, block box stair. Obviously this isn't green, because he's not a green dragon. It's pretty hard to make a green dragon because there's no green stair blocks. I need a test for potential head over there, but you have to make it pretty much a lot bigger than other dragon because you can't have stairs. Um, yeah, right. Don't like the flickery flashy part. I like the flickery flashy better than just having an entire beam sticking straight out. And... Okay. Um, yeah, I'm starting to like the way this is looking. Now, uh, we said maybe we could have one claw up a bit higher. Just to make him look more, I don't know, dramatic. That, for example, uh, that I hate, actually, just the record. Uh, ooh, that's no. if we did it like that, we kind of want this whole arm section though to adjust to make it up for that change. I do kind of like the slight difference there. Maybe the shape isn't quite right though. That is silly. That should not be allowed. Or possibly like slab. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's hideous. No. That is the way to go still, I think. I don't know. Let's just leave it at that and work with it. Okay, did I mention this episode is going to be a pain to edit? <laughs> oh well. Hmm. I don't know if I entirely mind that shape. Uh, what did this guy's feet look like? Okay, yeah, so that's what I did for his feet. That's kind of solid back there. And then they kind of have to go back here. So these are a little bit big, because this guy is a bit bigger than that guy, which is kind of the template for the size we've got. Um, but those feet are kind of all right. Does that suit this guy? They do look a little bit fat on him, don't they? Because, like, to match uh, that guy, the feet are pretty much the same. It's just a stair with blocks behind it. Yeah, like that. So, like, in this case, again, they're a bit... Because they're flatter on the ground because he's squatting down. That makes it different. And also because they're on the diagonal. That's going to change things, which kind of makes it a little bit tricky, kind of a little bit interesting. Like, we could... Yeah, not... This is just a little bit too big, though. Ooh, Ooh that's horrible. <laughs> that's just terrible. Like, it might look better if it was this way around. But even so, it's like you got little claw, <laughs> big fat foot. No, this is probably not going to happen unless something like that. But then we're pretty much back to the big wide thing, and it looks more like he's got a hoof. Hoof. He doesn't want a hoof. Not smelly horse. 
get some bit more of the leg shape in and then it'll be easier to see what shape the foot needs to be. That might not be too bad, actually. Or perhaps just shift the whole thing over like that. That's not terrible. And I don't like the way it melds in with this now. I kind of arrived at that other foot shape again. <laughs> uh, unintentionally. Maybe it's a sign. I don't know, I don't entirely mind it. It is a little bit bigger. And this guy feels like he ought to need. He's kind of ended up having a hole through his legs. Which is not... Uh, what the heck have I done? Whoops. Uh... That's not, that's not all bad. Except it is kind of supposed to go that way, and then that way, and then stuff. Getting there, I think. It's not terrible, I don't think. Not terrible. Might not be good exactly. But it's not terrible. Uh, oh, we tried that already. Didn't we? I think we do kind of want a shape of it like that. Maybe that needs to be like that. Window. Window foot. I'm getting to that point where I'm almost happy with that leg. I find there's a little bit of travel on here, but you've got to remember it kind of goes like that. And what if we made that slab instead? I'm pretty sure I tried that before and hated it, but now I'm trying it and I'm not hating it quite so much. What if this was a full lock? This orientation. I could get to like that, I think. Turn this into a tail somehow. And suddenly we're also, it's not symmetrical anymore. So that's where things get confusing. Look better. And pop 
possibly like that. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. I'm sure I'd probably try the same exact same thing a little while ago and said it looked terrible, but this time it looks good. I guess something that looks terrible in one scenario looks good when after you've changed the bots around it to make them better, suddenly the thing that looks terrible doesn't look terrible anymore. It's funny how that works. It kind of looks like it gets skinny, it's a bit skinny here and then gets a little bit fatter. Not brilliant, but better than the alternatives. And then the thing is, does he want to have any spikes on his tail or anything like that? Like, this guy kind of went overboard with the spikes on the tail, just because he's kind of the more, I guess, cartoonish design. At least his proportions being the more squat and chubby. So I kind of went a little bit more with, like, yeah, crazy enough for spikes. So. I still think I might like him better without them. You know what? I'll, I'll revisit that idea later. Let's give this guy some wings. Because you can't really be a dragon without wings. I'm starting to second guess all of these things now. Still don't like how you can see the beacon flashy in there. But I like it better than the alternative. I've said that several times before. Well, I think I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. It's a bit bigger than I was kind of hoping to build, but you've got to be a little bit realistic when it comes to... It's only so small you can go, really, when it comes to these blocks, and particularly that we needed to fit the beacon through him. So, I reckon that worked out alright. Uh, next step, as we said, is the wings. So we've got, kind of got to think about what kind of posture the wings again. Also, we've just built this tail, but where's the wing going to go? Is it going to cut through the tail? Is it going to be more horizontal? I'm thinking he's kind of rearing up to his wings want to be like this guy's leaning back. His wings are fairly vertical, stretching up. I mean, this guy's got them stretched out fairly horizontal. I think. Also, I'm thinking maybe they don't want to be fully like stretched out. Like this guy, he's really stretched out, big and far and high. You can't see me, but I'm sticking my arms up in the air. Um, whereas that guy is. They're actually still fairly stretched out, but kind of not as much. Um, so this guy... I think I'll start building on this side so I don't have to worry about the tail. But then... Um, yeah. I'm thinking... But he's also kind of leaning backwards. So he probably needs to balance himself. His wings are going to be more forwards, is what I'm thinking. And that also helps with not getting in the way of the tail. So maybe his wings kind of go like... What does he do? Okay, this is the part where I stand on the ground and I lean backwards in his kind of posture and stick my arms out in the air. And it looks really weird. Um, right, he's kind of gone... Maybe I should turn the webcam on for this. Uh, he's going that and his wings are like all... Okay. So based on the position my arm is, we're looking at kind of horizontal, then horizontal. Uh, <laughs>